2017 was a year of continued growth and portfolio expansion for Simrise. We went to the Simrise Villa in Holzminden, a unique heritage site and working environment for employees, yeah. to meet up with CEO Dr Bertram to find out more. To celebrate the year's achievements, we commissioned a chalkboard artist to create scenes illustrating the key topics of the year. So Dr Bertram, the annual report this year is entitled Unfolding Strengths. What does this mean for you? We have uh, set the groundwork, backward integration, expansion in new areas, and we believe now this is the time to harvest a lot of what we have done and we are very optimistic for the year to come. People today, uh, customers today want everything. They want the perfect price, affordable, sustainable, yeah. natural, if possible organic and, uh, and no compromise on sensory uh, performance. We see uh, many opportunities in new areas but as also with new customers. So yes, we have uh, all reason to be optimistic for uh, this year. Is this also reflected in the figures? Well, 2017 uh, was very successful. We had again been outgrowing the market. We had uh, uh, a very strong growth rate and uh, we uh, have uh, managed to have a turnover of about 3 billion which uh, I believe is a great achievement mm -hmm. and uh, on this occasion again thanks to our employees mm -hmm. and to our team for having made it. O not only strong growth but uh, good profitability 21% I believe is a very healthy uh, profitability range so we're very happy and very excited about it. 12th year in a row, outgrowing the market and uh, gaining market share. I think that speaks for itself that uh, our strategy pays off. So speaking of growth, what does long-term success mean for you in this context? So we are strong enough uh, to grow organically and outgrow the market on a continuous basis. Mm -hmm. We talked about that and uh, that's why we're optimistic for this year. If there is a new technology which can't, could complement our capabilities in a nice way, we would look into it. If there is a niche market which we're interested in, which we're not represented appropriately at the moment, uh, we would look into it. The British market for sure is one of the biggest uh, in, uh, in Europe. We were not uh, represented appropriately, in particular in beverages, and uh, we had some of the experience uh, which Cobel brings in Great Britain. Right. Uh, some of the experience here in Germany and uh, so we felt that is a good opportunity for us extending it to Great Britain. Speaking about acquisitions that fit well with your strategy for the future, is Citratus another example of this? Brazil being one of the biggest fragrance and beauty care markets in the world, so it's important to uh, cover the whole spectrum of customers uh, mm. to really unleash the full potential of that market. That was the background of Citratos. So looking to your supply chain and backward integration, what's your strategy for working with farmers? In Italy, as in Madagascar, we pay the farmers more than the normal price. We have an, a certain expectation coming with this on how you farm and how you treat the environment and uh, all these things. What has changed and, and what is it that makes Simrise's offering so unique? Flavors, fragrance, cosmetic ingredients, pet food, aqua, oral care, cosmetics, combining all these different areas that leads to a whole range of new products which uh, do not even exist on the market so far.